I'm relentlessly positive. So it starts a little easier for me because I don't have to kind of have to go to the wall switch and turn it on. It's there already for me. But there is a methodology about it that works. Do you have any specific examples like life experiences or? Well, I'll, I'll give you one. It's, it's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. I had to turn my relationship around with my father. My father, uh, is his first career was in the army, spent 25 years, served in World War II and Korean War and Vietnam, very highly decorated. He, uh, about five years ago, became a, uh, a chevalier of the Legion of Honor. He was knighted by the president of France. He's, he's a big guy, and, but he's got a huge heart. He cares about people enormously, but he's also very narcissistic. So for everybody else, he's generous and kind and charming. For the immediate family, he's tough. He's difficult. He's not very emotional. He's not very warm. So here I am. He's the big bull. I'm the little bull. And we're butting heads. And it went on. It went into my, and well into my 40s. And I finally woke up and I said, he's not going to change. He's not. The person who's going to change this is me. And I have the power to do that. I have broad shoulders. What do I need to do? I have to give him respect. He deserves respect. There's so many things about who I am came from him. Other things came from mom and they couldn't be more different. But I know what, what the gifts are that he gave me. And I am so appreciative. I said, lean into that. Tell him that you're appreciative of that. 